We are here at the Slade Aquatic Center where the Whittier College men's water polo team is playing Claremont McKenna. Whittier College poets are currently ranked number one in the nation. It was a close game, but the poets took the lead again, winning against Claremont with an 8-10 victory. This game marks the seventh win for the poets this season. The stands were filled with fans, eager to watch their favorite players score and defend as the Poets fought for their the win. The fact that we're winning games and we haven't been a team, I mean, last year compared to this year, it's a whole new team. So, you know, uh, being able to win with a whole new team is, uh, is pretty remarkable. I feel pretty good. I mean, our team's doing really, really well. I mean, coming back from seventh place or sixth place last year to getting first place regular season feels pretty good. I mean, we have a good group of guys out here. I'm really having a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, it's just kind of like team chemistry. We're still, we're all a bunch of new guys, a lot of transfers coming in, and as soon as we get playing really, really well together, it's unstoppable. We're, I think we're going to be on top of the D3 at the end of the year. Uh, it's it's good. It's a good win. I don't think we're um, done with the season yet. Uh, we have one more regular conference uh, game left, and then um, the Sky at Conference tournament. So, um, if we can end the regular season number one, then I'll be happy. <laughs> Definitely, the poets are very intimidating. I don't think um, many people want to play us this year, so. Their reputation speaks for itself. Yes, yes, but it, when you start winning, you know, uh, good things happen. The men's soccer team clinched the number two C in the playoffs this weekend with a tie against Pomona Pitzer. Tonight, they're facing off with the University of Redlands that finished third in the conference. The poets are looking to advance to the Skyax Championships. You know, we're super proud of them. Uh, you know, we're a young team, so we have a host of this team coming back next year. So the future's bright, and that's really what we want to do anyhow, is build, you know, be a, a consistent program year after year. Uh, we've had a lot of one-year wonders here, and then we've kind of gone away, and I think the future, like I said, is bright. Uh, they played hard tonight. It's unfortunate. We lost to a good team, and uh, we wish uh, the University of Redlands the best of luck in the championship. I mean, I don't think Whittier College can possibly hang their heads after this. They came out, they had a great, they had a great second half. I mean, they were down one nothing. They came back with only a minute left. They tied it up. They brought it into overtime. They had won 11. They had gone undefeated 11 in a row. You know, they hadn't lost, and they were coming in against a really good team. We played a great match, and you know, I don't think I don't think Whittier College can possibly be ashamed after this because.
I mean, we have a committed coach this year, you know. I mean, he came in three years ago, same year I did, so he's committed to change this program around. And, yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of recruiting-wise. Last year we did, we just completely 180 on the recruiting, and that's what's helped a lot. And already we have recruits coming in, so we're very hopeful and optimistic about next year, that's for sure. I think it was, uh, and this guy behind, DJ Covarubias, made a huge difference. He helped with recruitment, brought, helped us bring in some very good players. Um, bringing some players, international players in helped, of course. And we had a real good team chemistry. Real, we've been together since August 25th. We're, we, we've been together every day since. And we, uh, we had a great result against Cal Lou away from home, 5-4. We won that game. And we just kept the momentum going. We've been 11 games undefeated now. They work hard. Monday night practice is all about conditioning, and they love that. Jerome works them hard. And the, they're just an outstanding group. And, and to see tonight the, the crowd was unbelievable. You know, the school spirit was incredible. Um, every, every fan said, well done, you know, there was no one disappointed. It was now people are going to want to come and play here because we are a good team. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the hard work of the players, the hard work of DJ all year round. And it was great tonight. The spectators and fans were fantastic. They really were.